Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Gwebrick. And today we have this Skybound Ninjago accessory set. You can see the four figures in the back of the box. It comes with 36 pieces. And uh, it doesn't really have a set number. I mean it does somewhere. Nice big long one, you can see, down there. 8, 5, 3, 5, 4, 4. But, you know, for the most part, you know, no real official set number. And it comes in this little, um, it's kind of tough to see, but this, uh, you know, this little blister pack kind of thing. And it does have a little instruction booklet. And, or not really a booklet, but a little leaflet. And it just shows you how to build the weapons, really. So, you know. And this is folded up inside the, uh, inside the bottom section where all the pieces of the weapons are stored. So that's kind of how it's packaged. But um, it does come with four minifigures. That's really what the set is, just a little minifigure uh, set. And the great thing about this battle pack is that every figure is exclusive. So we get two exclusive Sky Pirates, which are good for army building, and then um, an exclusive Zane in his tournament outfit, which he didn't get because he was kind of dead uh, when the ninja had their tournament outfits, so that's cool. And then this Nia figure, who isn't really in the show at all, ever, but you'll see there's something really cool about this one. So, I think uh, we will split this, uh, you know, batch of figures in half, because uh, it's tough to, you know, take a look at all four of them at one time, anyway. And we'll just split that right there. So here are Zane and Nia. And get their weapons out of the way first. Each of them come with a shuriken. There's actually, you know, one set of shurikens. That's just split between the two of them. Whoops. Guess it doesn't like this bottom section. Get rid of it. Make it easier on ourselves. There we go. Alright. And now, Nia has this spear, which is a pretty simple build. Three pieces, but looks cool still. And, um, you know, nice red. That's not a very common color. I don't think. I don't have any of it. And then Zane's little uh, ice staff thing. Got the ice pieces at the top and the bottom, and the little clip bar things at the end with the gold bar piece in the middle. And looking at the figures themselves, I guess we can get in a little closer. And Nia has her uh, helmet uh, in black, which uh, I don't think she's had a black helmet for a while. And she does have the... Uh, you know, typical mask piece, same that they've used since 2012, and the bucket handle. And Zane, on the other hand, has a unprinted ZX mask. And you can see here, their faces are both brand new to this set. Uh, actually, I'm going to swap their faces for a reason that you'll see in a second. Or I'm going to swap their, uh, not faces, places. Um, so there is Nia's, uh, or the front of Nia's head. She has an alternate expression, which is awesome. It's those goggles that, um, and I mean, you might say, oh, she had goggles in, uh, the 2015 version, but, um, these are actually goggles that are kind of look, they look like the, uh, season one goggles that Samurai X had, so that's cool, because we didn't really ever get those goggles on that figure. So, you know, both cool facial expressions, It'd be nice if they used a face more like this for Nia in regular sets, instead of that, you know, basic one that we usually get. But Zane, on the other hand, has a brand new face as well. And it's printed all the way around with the mechanical ripped off half face uh, detail, which is pretty awesome. And the torso print is cool, looks like the tournament outfits, but this one actually shows, you know, his little heart kind of thing. And the leg print on both of them is pretty simple. This is nice metallic silver, though. 
and some metallic gold, and some pretty simple detailing as far as Nia's suits go. This is one of the more simplistic ones, but I think it still looks cool. And it's nice to get, you know, a basically a nice little kind of custom design there. I think the only thing that would have made this a little bit more interesting is if instead of... I guess it's probably better, rarer to get this piece, but it would have been nicer to get a more consistent look by giving him his hair and his mask. Which I'll probably show you guys in the mini figure showcase of this guy. Back print on Zane, showing his symbol and everything. No back print on Nia, so I'm not going to bother taking off the shoulder pads. But now that we have taken a look at these two figures, which are both pretty cool, and they're probably the ones that I like more out of the set, but if you're going to buy multiples of the set to build a nice army, you're going to be more interested in these two. And these two are both Sky Pirate figures. Whoops, that's not where it's supposed to go. Why can't I get it on the Jumper Place? There we go. And these guys don't have names, per se, in the show. Uh, but you do see them at times. Um, or at least I am. I think that this is exactly the way they look in the show, but they might be slightly different. Um, uh, it's like they might... Because I, I don't know about the faces and everything, but you do see um, pirates with this kind of hat and that kind of hat. So, at the very least, these are nice just pieces for the sky pirates, you know, to build some... Uh, some your own characters, too. And this guy has a torch, which, you know, doesn't look great. I'm not a big fan of the way that, that looks, but it's a weapon, and, you know, good enough. And the swords in his back are pretty good as well. And he has two of those swords. The other guy has one of these larger swords and a flintlock pistol. So, it's pretty cool. Now that those are out of the way, now we'll start with this guy by mentioning that, uh, he has printing on his green sailor cap, so this is uh, definitely an exclusive piece. This piece hasn't been used for a while. You can see his uh, ma or his face there. <laughs> nice scowling expression. And I'm going to remove that so that you can take a look at the back of the torso printing in a minute. He does have one of these scabbard pieces. And I guess we'll look at the backs first because... That way, I can put the oh, swords back on. You can see that both are similar, but they're not the same. Uh, so nice to get variation in the torsos. They both have this little uh, belt thing, but, you know, all in all, neither of them have uh, alternate faces, by the way. So uh, this guy has no leg printing. This guy does. It looks uh, pretty good. And pockets and belts and stuff. Pretty cool. Torso prints on both of them are unique. And the faces are both unique. You can see the uh, one with the turban on the right. His face is a nice mustache. And, you know, could be useful for some other stuff. It's an angry mustache face. And he does have a brown version of the Snake Charmer's turban. So, yeah. All in all, I think that uh, these are both pretty cool figures. They're definitely nice to add some variety to your Sky Pirate army. Because while you do get a lot of Sky Pirates, if you get all the um, Ninjago Skybound sets, uh, the large problem you'll face is that a lot of them are exactly the same. And you, this gives you more you know, of an opportunity to uh, kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? kind of diversify your uh, Sky Pirate army. So, that's cool. But if we just pull in Nia and Zane here. Uh, there we go. That's not quite right. Just gotta get that on there. For some reason it doesn't want to. Alright. There we go. That, that's good enough. But, um, this is the battle pack. Again, four awesome figures. That's pretty cool. Oh, now it's falling apart on us. We're trying to do stuff to it. Oh well. Um, but, yeah. So, at $15, this is, you know, a 
kind of a kind of an expensive price for piece ratio, 36 pieces, 15 bucks. But the four minifigures that you get are fantastic. Uh, like, if you're a fan of the tournament of elements, you'd want this Zane. Uh, Nia, it's just cool. Sky Pirates, uh, very useful, cool figures. I think overall this is a good, uh, good set. Great figures, definitely. The price might be a little bit high, but if you look at it, it's about the price of buying four CMFs. Um, while I would say that uh, CMFs are probably a little bit more detailed, a better value than this, this isn't too bad, and I think that 15 is reasonable. Uh, I think 12, though, would make this a phenomenal set, and, you know, a must-have. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys all later. Bye, guys.